stay tuned for the top 10 Spider-Man Marvel Legends of 2022. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember now you can hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. And happy new year. 2023 is here. But before we dive in and start getting excited about all the new figures coming out this year, we always like to start the year off by looking back and celebrating some of the great figures that came out the year prior by doing some top 10 lists. And if you couldn't tell already, this one has a very particular theme. As in 2022, we celebrate the 60th anniversary of Spider-Man and Marvel Legends did exactly the same and we got plenty of new Spider-Man Marvel Legend figures so I have picked 10 figures here as you can see as that's a very nice round number to do our top 10 Marvel Legends Spider-Man of 2022. Now as always with these lists it's just a little bit of fun to celebrate all the great figures that came out. It's my own personal list based on my own personal bias. I don't expect you to agree but please do get involved. Let me know in the comments at least your top three Spider-Man Marvel Legends of 2022. 22. Now I'm going to do this top 10 style so I'll explain my reasoning as we go through but as I said what a great year it was if you were a Spider-Man fan. I ticked off a lot of my wish list figures in that Spider-Verse so let's not waste any more time and get into it with Number 10. It is the Spider-Man stealth suit. Now, this is technically the inverted version of the Future Foundation costume, which is a design we do want an upgrade for in Marvel Legends. And I know what you're thinking, Dan, this figure doesn't deserve to be in any top 10. And you're right. He makes the list by default, as I'm not including any movie figures in this list. So that means all of the Into the Spider-Verse figures are disqualified. They're too stylized, and I wanted to keep this list List sort of based on comic book looks. So he makes the list by default and my experience with this figure wasn't great as the paint apps were all sloppy and it was my first example of plastic free packaging gone wrong. But I do like the design. The only glimmer I hope this figure gives me is that the actual future foundation costume upgrade is on the way. So until then, this guy is at number 10. And number nine, I've gone with Ben Riley Spider-Man that came out right at the start of 2022 in the Spider-Man Retro Wave. Now, if you're on a retro card, then you already get bonus points. And this is a nice updated version of this costume design on the retro Spider-Man body. However, in 2022, we were spoiled and we actually got an upgrade of this body with the pinless tech. This one still has the flaws of the pins as you have the inverted colors on the blues and the reds, which is a shame, but it is still the best articulated version of this costume design. But for me, my favourite will always be for Ben with the hoodie. We didn't even get an unmasked head with this figure, but it is still a nice upgrade for your Spider-Verse, and he makes the list at number nine. At number eight, we're going with the all-black symbiote costume Spider-Man. Now, much like Ben Riley at number nine, he was also out at the start of 2022 in that Spider-Man retro wave. So again, retro card means bonus points, and it's also on that updated retro Spider-Man body. But unlike Ben, you don't really notice the pins as much as it's an all-black costume. And let's be honest, he's a fan favorite. This is probably the best version of the symbiote costume we have gotten so far in Marvel Legends. Legends. I'm sure it is inevitable until we get this version, which is completely pinless. But even though it is just black and white, the lines are pretty clean. He came with all the right hands. And again, it's just a very sleek looking Spider-Man figure. So he makes the list for me at number eight. And number seven, Japanese Spider-Man, as this is a great representation in plastic of that very quirky late 70s live action Japanese Spider-Man TV show. Now, it is pretty fun that they have made this an official Marvel legend, even down to the same inaccuracies on the figure that the costume actually had on the show with the web lines being a little bit wrong. It is on a completely pinless body with some nice articulation, even has the wristband that contains the Spider-Man costume. 
Trust me, it makes no sense. It is drastically different to the Spider-Man that you know and love, but they tried to hide it from the Western world for so long. I only learned about this guy like via the internet and it has definitely got a cult following and it's a nice Easter egg for our shelf. Now, I know I said earlier I'm not including any movie figures or live action figures and yes, technically this is based off a live action Spider-Man. However, he has appeared in the comics many times in this exact look. So if you are trying to just add a fun Easter egg to your Spider-Verse shelf on your Marvel Legends collection, then this figure is fair game and uh, it is a very fun figure. But I just don't have too much nostalgic attachment to Japanese Spider-Man. So unfortunately, he only makes seven. And number six, a character design with a little bit of nostalgic attachment for me. It is, of course, the boombastic Bagman Spider-Man. Because, yes, that is Peter Parker hidden underneath that brown paper bag wearing Johnny Storm's old Fantastic Four costume home so his identity wouldn't be revealed. And it's crazy how just a few pages of an old comic can sort of roll into this cult following. And I first came across this costume design on an old PS1 Spider-Man game. That's why it's nostalgic to me. And I've always been curious of its origins and it is great that we can now have this represented in plastic on our Marvel Legends displays and in our Spider-Verse collections as a fun little easter egg. It even has the kick me sign on the back which is a fun touch. It came with some interchangeable hands on a retro card. Go and check out my fuller review for all the details. Yes it's on an old Marvel Legends body but still it's got some great range and it's more about what it represents for me and I'm very happy to have it in plastic but it just misses out on my top five and number six Boombastic Bagman. Kicking off our top five, and this is where the arguments are going to start in the comments because controversially, at number five, I've gone with the 60th anniversary Amazing Spider-Man. Now, let me explain. I know a lot of people are going to have this at their number one spot. However, that's what makes these lists so fun is that everyone's list is different and nobody is wrong or right. This is a solid Marvel Legend figure. It is on a brand new pinless base body, first and foremost, which works very well for Spider-Man has some great articulation but for me I'm not an articulation theme so that's not always the most important factor to my Marvel Legends. It is a solid representation of Spider-Man's first appearance as well as he had those sort of darker colour palettes and he has got the web wings as well which in figure form are a little bit frustrating I'm not going to lie but it is still a great piece and I'm very happy to have it in my collection but for me I wasn't a kid reading comics in the 60s. I learned about Spider-Man via different forms of media and my mind's eye of Spider-Man will always be just a little bit more modernized. So I'm still very happy to have it on the shelf and have it in the collection. But for me, this guy is only at number five. And number four, just missing out on a podium place, is another figure I could probably find reasons to justify it being at number one, considering what it represents, but is, of course, the Spider-Man animated series, Sal shaded retro-carded Spider-Man. I think I said a lot of words there, but you know exactly what it is. It represents that 90s animated show, and is a nice tribute to the Toy Biz line in the 90s, which is all the reason I love Marvel now. Those 90s cartoons and the 90s Toy Biz toy lines was my introduction to Marvel and made me explore the world even further and it's great to have that represented in plastic. I'm not the biggest fan of Sal shading on action figures but considering it's its own separate subline and it represents own animated shows I have found a new appreciation for it but I'm building my own separate animated display and keeping it away from my sort of main comic display and that's why it lands at number four as it's its sort of subline if you will. It is on the brand new base body the same as the 60th anniversary spot man which again is a great base body with some great range it came with all the right hands if this came with an animated series peter parker head then it would have been hard not to put it at number one especially with like a scrunched up mask and a camera to hold his accessories that would have been beautiful but it didn't but i still love this figure i love it even more on the retro card so it gets bonus points there not enough though to make the top three and number four animated style shaded spider-man and number three, this is where it gets interesting. A podium place and the bronze medal goes to the Spider-Man, Spider-Armor Mark one that came right at the start of 2022 on the Spider-Man retro card. So again, bonus points there, but this holds so much nostalgic weight to me, which is such an important factor to my sort of collecting overall. I had this figure on the Toy Biz card back in the day, and it was also like an unlockable skin in many of the games I had growing up, and it just holds so much nostalgic weight that this figure was on my wish list, and when Marvel Legends did it, it was so good. It is complete 
completely pinless. Now, I know this figure is probably based off the PS4 Spider-Man game design, but it's close enough to what I remember in my head for me to be very happy with it in plastic. All these lines are sculpted. The chrome paint is not marbleized in any way. It's so nice. The back emblem is basically like a mirror you can look into with all this sculpted textured detail. Some nice range on it as well, considering it's like a rigid design. It's just a solid representation of the design of the spider armor that I loved so much. And it's on my wish list and I'm very happy to tick it off and add it to my shelf. So it had to be on the podium. So for me, my nostalgic attachment wins. It's on the retro card, more bonus points. And number three is the Spider-Man spider armor, Mark one. And number two, this year's silver medalist and the runner-up just shows you what a great year for Spider-Man it's been, that this isn't at number one. It is, of course, the Spider-Man Iron Spider. Now, this is a figure that was on my Marvel Legends wish list for such a long time as we never technically got it in Legends before. The only previous time was Spider-Man Classics and it was a bit gangly and bright yellow. This was the upgrade we were wanting and waiting for and they did not disappoint. This is a solid figure and a representation of the Tony Stark upgrade for Peter Parker in the comics just before Civil War. Peter was wearing it during Civil War as well, which was one of my favorite story arcs and comics and there yeah this is just so nice it is completely pinless great range of articulation with all these waldos having points of articulation and it poses up so well on a display i love it when you can get a figure on the shelf and it makes the shelf come to life this figure does exactly that so dynamic and uh yeah just so nice all this sort of uh, emblem on the chest is sculpted on there and it's got that sort of ruby shine to it which i don't mind as it is obviously a metal armored suit so uh yeah so 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 good really 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 like this and um, again any other year it could have been number one but uh it's been a year for spider-man hasn't it but i'm so happy to tick this off my wish list and a very worthy runner-up it is of course the iron spider beautiful at number one, taking home the gold medal, going down as the best marvel legend spider-man of 2022 and quite possibly Ever. It is, of course, the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man that came in a two-pack with Spinneret. And I know that is a bold statement, but we have to acknowledge and reward innovation at its finest. And Marvel Legends has been around for 20 years. And this Spider-Man here is now the gold standard for Marvel Legends. For me, it's always about my mind's eye. I want the figures in plastic to look like what we see on the comic book page and you cannot deny that this Spider-Man doesn't do exactly that. We can love other variations and different costumes for Spider-Man but this look here will go down in history as the most iconic look for Spider-Man throughout different ages and I think this figure represents them all so well. Maybe a little bit more modernised but you cannot disagree that the blues and the reds are iconic and this figure here is also using all the current modern day enhancements of action figures for our Marvel Legends aesthetic as it's completely pinless so we don't get the inverted colour pins which makes it very aesthetically pleasing it has all the articulation in the right places so you can get spider-man into some of his iconic poses for display which again definitely makes a difference it is just a beautifully executed action figure and it had to be number one in this list as i said i do love some of the other figures in this top 10 but when we are ranking spider-man it had to be his iconic look in the best form we have ever gotten him. We have gotten some very gangly figures over the years, but look at this. Proportionately, it is just so, so nice. Uh, the paint apps are beautiful. Articulation in all the right spots. It came with all the right hands. It came with an unmasked Peter Parker head with the new digital face print in tech. Honestly, uh, if they do better than this, then I'm excited for what's to come because, uh, yeah, this is so, so nice. For me, it had to be number one, but but I'm sure you may disagree and that's what's great about these lists it is each to their own but for me this had to be number one so I'm curious what you think let me know in the comments but undoubtedly at number one the most iconic spider-man in figure form renew your vows pow so there we have it my top 10 spider-man marvel legend action figures 
of 2022. What a year it was for Spider-Man action figure fans for Marvel Legends and happy anniversary Peter Parker. 60 amazing years and beyond of course because I am sure he is not going anywhere. Especially with Marvel Legends there are still plenty of characters to fill from across the Spider-Verse so I have no doubts that in 2023 we will fill even more gaps. But uh, it was fun to sort of look back and rank some of these figures as I was very happy to tick off some of my wish list variants of the Spider-Verse this year. And again, this list is just my own personal preference. Just a little bit of fun to look back and celebrate the year that was. So please get involved in the comments below and let me know at least your top three Spider-Man figures of 2022. Remember, I didn't include any other Spider-Man characters, so obviously no Venoms. I didn't include the Spider-Verse figures because they're based off movie looks. I tried to keep it Spider-Man that would fit in a comic display. And I think these 10 here definitely do that. So again, you let me know what you think. But as always, I like to ramble about Marvel Legends. And if you like Marvel Legends, then uh, guess what? You're in the right place. Check out the videos tab. Find the playlists. But most importantly, please, please, please. Hit that subscribe button. Hit all on the notification bell. Don't miss out on a video. And please hit that join button. Become a channel member if I show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. As always, you can follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And I'm on Twitter as well. Tweet me, don't be shy, at Dan Who Reviews. And thank you for sticking with me as my voice has only just held up for this video as I've not been very well at the start of the year. But hopefully I recover as we have lots of Marvel Legends to talk about in 2023. So as always, my name has been Dan W. And I will, of course, see you on the next one. <laughs>